Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining uh, Toshiba's quarterly um, webinar. And uh, today we're going to go ahead and uh, start this here. And um, one of the features we're going to hit here is advantages of Toshiba's hybrid premises and cloud solution. And uh, my name is Pete Ambrose. Also, we have Matt Curtis here, our in-house uh, sales applications expert. Hello. And um, we're going to keep this uh, in about 30-minute time frame here. So if there's any questions and answers, please type them away at the very end. We will answer those. If we run into that 30 minutes, we will answer those um, offline and send you the information. Also, too, I will be sending this webinar out, uh, PowerPoint, to each of the attendees so you can review this information at your own leisure as well. Today's agenda, what we like to go over or the features that we'd like to go over here in bullets is what is new with Toshiba, ease of administration or personal administration of extensions or a group of uh, extensions per department or a manager and so forth. And we have some illustrations. We'll show it live as well. Hybrid cloud networking. This is the feature we just launched and announced a couple of weeks ago where you can combine your web-based uh, premise I'm sorry, your premise-based uh, system, uh, voice over IP, IP edge system, and with the cloud-based solution. And you can combine them and network them as well. Uh, consultant uh, contact information, and at the very end, questions and answers. So what is new with Toshiba? IP edge net networking can now connect the VIP edge, which is our cloud-based uh, system, IP Edge, which is a voice over IP system, and as well as the Strata CIX uh, hybrid premise-based systems. So you can mix and match those systems and network them together. Enhance SIP station support, be an example of conferencing for VIP Edge. And let me expand on that a little bit. So we enhance some of the SIP protocols as Matt Curtis. Um, so we can get some more functionality out of our SIP extensions. As you know, a SIP extension is like a single VN analog station compared to a digital phone. Um, so we enhance some of this stuff so we can access some different access codes in our system using a SIP extension, and we can act actually conference now on SIP extensions. Um, the SIP station security enhancements, we built in automatic um, passwords when you build a SIP extension, encrypted password, because as you know, a SIP extension out on the internet is easily hacked. So we have some encrypted pass passwords that automatically apply to the SIP extension as, as it's created. And you don't have to use it if you don't want to, or you can. Um, so that just ensures some security there. And multi-user administration. That's something we also rolled out. We have some easier ways to manage phones for managers um, and employees can even manage their own phones. I'll show you some of that live. And the simplified administration to help improve managing and installing. Okay, so what that means is we came up with model databases. So when you install an IP edge system and or if you deploy a VIP edge cloud-based system, you know, you have this model database that you can either upload to a premise-based system or that's already there on the IPS system that gives you some basic, you know, builds the phone, gives you some basic buttons that you might need, builds the mailboxes and all that stuff. And that's kind of what the model database does, too, for any premise-based system. So you got that head start when you're installing it. So it really cuts down on the install, the install time. So ease of administration. Um, I can show you have a Screenshot it. You know, it's better if I just show you live. Log into a system here. So here's here's a VIP edge system I'm logging into. I'm logging in. It's real easy to program on these things. I just put the extension number in here and password and submit. And now I'm in. This could be a manager or an IT guy out on site um, that manages their network or whatever. And now I'm in programming on that one extension. If I want to type a name in the phone, 
I can. Once I hit save, that name is now instantly displayed on this extension number, um, 2301. And I can easily administer the key by simply right-clicking on the key. I can make it a, another key to show whether an extension is off book or not. And then I can simply just type the extension number in that I want that key to show. So I have instant access. I'm not going to show every single feature, but I have instant access to, to make any key I want on my own telephone. The, the new feature we added to the VIP Edge and IP Edge is this cool thing where I can give Matt here the ability not only to administer his own phone, but I can give him the ability to administer maybe other phones, maybe his employees underneath him, and so he can manage that and the IT guy is freed up. So we have this new little icon up here that in system programming, what I did was I gave Matt here the permissions to manage these four phones, or I could have given him permissions to manage every single phone on the system. So now if he wants to change because extension 23, the name was wrong, or extension 20, 2300 needed a different key, simply click on that, switch users, and now here's extension 23, and now I can right-click on a key, and I can put a, a one-touch key, which is a programmable key, that I can make anything I want, and uh, put some data in there, and then program that key. And once I do that, on this extension, I would save it, and it would save that extension. So say I'm the manager here, so I logged in, and I wanted to go to one of my phones because 2402 forgot their voicemail password, which happens all the time. I don't know about you, but here. <laughs> um, say OK, switch users to 2402, and now I can obviously make some changes to these keys. I have all these other tabs here. I can make other changes to that one particular phone if I want. Um, let's change the voicemail because extension 2402 forgot their password. So I'm going to go to applications here, messaging, and this is all from my login to my phone. It's going to pull up the voicemail stuff, and I'll have a drop-down box here, and I can pick any mailbox I want. I can type in any mailbox I want. and because I'm given permissions to, otherwise I would just be able to administer my own. And then I can come down here and I can say, well, I need to reset the password. Well, here it is right here, change password. And if I didn't know what any of this stuff is, and a lot of this stuff you won't even touch or just leave it alone, but if I wanted to figure out what that was to make sure I was changing the right thing, don't want to mess anything up, I would just click on this little blue icon here with the question mark, and right when I click on it, in plain terms, in, in plain terms, it'll tell you what that setting does. Um, you don't have to be a telecommunications engineer to figure out what these things are saying. It's pretty straightforward. So it gives the customer um, ease of administration so they're not calling the dealer all the time and getting charged and, and um, they're rolling a truck out to put a button on a phone. So then I would just simply click on change password enter the new password, re-enter it, say OK, and the password would be changed. And, you know, you can make any, all kinds of other settings here. I'm not going to go over all of them, but just to show you it's easily accessed and changed by the end user if, you know, you want to give them that access. And let me log back out of here. So, for example, I mean, 2301 may be the IT guy, but maybe 2300 is a, a, the receptionist or somebody else, but they're not given all that power. So, if they log in, you'll see they have this icon here, but they can only administer their own station, change their name. You may not even give them this permission to even do this, but now if they click on this little icon up here, they don't have any other phones they can administer because they can only administer their own. And then they couldn't administer anybody else's mailboxes either but their own. So we have that functionality also.
log out of here. Go back to our PowerPoint. And what's next? Hybrid cloud, so she deserves it. So this is going to be our cloud. Yes, and this is the advantages of the uh, feature here. Toshiba's hybrid premise and cloud networking solution delivers a rich set of calling features across multiple VIP Edge, which is our cloud-based system, IP Edge, which is our IP system, and Strata CIX hybrid uh, premise-based platforms. Advanced networking features include premise-based centralized voicemail, centralized attendant, and station DSS button appearances across all nodes. Alternate routing uh, provides control bypass using LCR and automatic failover on the premise-based systems. Migration path to the VIP edge. So if you have clients out there that have a CIX premise-based or an IP edge system, they can still migrate up to the VIP edge cloud base, and even uh, uh, if they're a VIP edge to start with, they can actually go and install a CIX or the IP edge at the alternate locations if they wish. VIP edge net channels also are provided at no charge. So let me say one thing about the VIP edge net channels. Okay, so we know we have strata net channels, networking channels on VIP edge, or on IP edge, they call them IP edge net channels. Basically, they're your networking paths between all the systems. If you need more networking paths, you buy more of those channels. On the VIP edge, they're free. We don't charge for those. So, for example, if you had a VIP edge up there in the cloud, and you had five call paths coming into it, because you have VIDs up there, too, and you have five call paths, five lines, so to speak, will match the number of lines with the number of Stratanet channels. So now you'll have the VIP edge net channels, you'll have five of those, because you have five lines. And so we don't charge for those. Now on the premise-based system, you would go ahead and add you know, Stratanet channels or um, IP edge net channels to match however many channels you wanted to, to network back and forth. But you're not buying anything extra to network one of these VIP edge containers. I want to make that clear. CIX and IP Edge networking with the VIP Edge, and with this, uh, up to 127 IP Edge and CIX systems can be networked with one VIP Edge system. And one thing on that, just so you know, a VIP Edge, we maxed out at 500 phones. So you can have up to 500 phones on one of these containers up there in the cloud that are all, it's all one big system. So. Some questions I get, well, why, what if I want to network a, a VIP Edge cloud base with another VIP Edge cloud base? Well, you wouldn't do it. Um, you could just add more phones because you can add so many of them. There might be a scenario, and we're looking at that scenario, where you might want to do that. Um, but I don't think it's impossible. But we haven't tested that, so we're going we're gonna to take a look at that scenario a little bit in the future. Also, we, we support fax on the on-premise system where the inbound fax trunks reside. Fax over the network that currently is not supported. Okay, so let me, clear, let me expand on that. Faxing, as we all know, faxing and IP don't really go well together. They never have. I don't care whose system you have. Um, zip trunks, they don't play well with faxing either. Um, so, Faxing over IP is just a difficult thing nowadays. So I just wanted to clarify that. That's oh, one more thing. So here's a, here's a simple networking topology with an IP edge and a VIP edge. It's pretty simple. We have our zip trunks coming into the zip trunk service into the cloud-based system here. And coming in over the internet to all your phones where, wherever they may reside, whether in this one little, maybe this one spot here, or these IPT phones can be anywhere. We don't, it doesn't really matter where these phones are, and they're just coming off any internet connection to, you know, from the VIP Edge cloud-based system. And of course now, 
as we were talking, we can network these two systems together. So if you have an IP edge premise base with IP phones here, and this could even be a CIX with digital phones, and now we can just network all this stuff together. Oh, and one more thing. We we do sell SIP trunks. Toshiba has a SIP trunk service. You can buy SIP trunks from Toshiba for Toshiba systems. Um, they, for IP edges, you know, natively they connect right up without a gateway, but we do have a SIP trunk service for any Toshiba premise based system. Here's another slide depicting kind of the same thing as the other slide. It's just showing a CIX here with some MIPU cards. System requirements on the IP edge, uh, IP edge net channel license will be needed. Software version, and these versions change, you know, with enhancements and so forth. So this is nothing, you know, to memorize or anything, but version 1.6, 1. dot one dot sixteen and higher. And no special firmware is required on the IPN endpoints. And also on the CIX, it's fairly the same, just different revision of the software on that. Uh, channel license, the Stratanet channel license is required. System software, uh, the latest and greatest and higher. MIPU firmware, 0 to 12 and higher. And again, no special firmware is required on that. And let me let me say one thing on this slide. You, you, you don't have to remember all these software versions and everything. It's the latest version of software is up on our Toshiba FYI website. So the latest versions of software, just get on the latest software and your all your networking with a VIP edge will work just fine. Um, what else did I want to say on that? Special firmware, software version. Oh, MIPU cards. So if you have a CIX out there and you want to network this just to an IP edge, let alone a VIP edge, you have to be using the MIPU networking interface, this IP card here. Um, the older IP cards won't network with the IP edge and the IP edge. We don't sell those older cards anymore, so if you do have an existing system, just make sure you're using MIPU if you're going to network these things. And future is now. Add cloud solutions to your existing digital and IP telephony systems. You can mix and match the right system to meet your needs and the client's needs. If they grow, they actually reduce members. You have those uh, features built in so you can actually meet the resources for your client. Evolve your business phone systems in phases. More cloud services to come down the road here. Unified communications and this is, uh, we'll have more information on the third quarter uh, in our webinar then. And redundancy, premise-based system failover to the cloud. This is, uh, yet again, a uh, date to be determined. And one thing, here's, here's one thing about the cloud solution. You can scale it and your monthly payment changes. So if you have, say you're a seasonal business, or for any reason you have to scale it up or down, and maybe during the holidays that's your niche spot and you need to bring on 20 more people, well, you, just, you would add 20 more users to the cloud-based system and you're up and running, maybe even more trunks. But when your seasonal um, niche business is over, you can remove those 20 users and trunks and all that stuff, and your payment just drops right back down for so the next monthly payment's going to be, you know, it could be half or it could be a lot lower because you can add and subtract services anytime you want. Um, unified communications, third quarter. Unified communications, what we mean by that is we're coming out with a browser based call manager. Um, so we're writing it in, is it HTML5? Yeah, it's, we're, we're making it browser-based. We're doing that because we want it to work across all platforms. So we're going to roll out, yes, for VIP Edge first, we're going to roll out for the Android operating system, Android tablet, Android phone, and it's going to use the browser in the Android 
and we all are also going to write it for iOS, iPhone, iPhone, iPad, even Macintosh computers. So if they're using Safari, it's going to be browser based, and we're going to slowly get all the features in that we have today with Call Manager, NetPhone. Um, so our first release is going to be for the I the IP Edge, our cloud based system, and then very shortly after, it's going to be for um, IP Edge. And so that's where we're heading with that. This is uh, one of the uh, infographics that we've uh, posted recently. We have several others there. This is the one I, uh, that uh, was put together for the Hybrid Cloud announcement. And um, as you can take a, a look on this here, it has some uh, key feature bullets on here. And also, too, you can, uh, of course, you have our uh, access to our uh, toll-free 800 number. You also have uh, full access to our uh, email. So if you have any questions, you can call us. Uh, but if you have, like, RFPs or integration questions, you can contact us via the email site there on the site. And also, um, keep in mind, I'm going to be sending all this information. And, of course, there's a press release uh, recently posted of the feature and um, of the hybrid feature that we just uh, released there. And also on the blog site, there's actually three new blogs just on this one topic here. And the blogs we post weekly. So every week it's a new blog. It's not something that's done every two, three months and then uh, we add something new. Uh, this is a blog site that's uh, active and it's updated weekly with new blogs. Also the infographics uh, page. These are this is our public website, and we have many infographics on SIP uh, trunking, networking, why, you know, frequently asked questions, and different various subjects on there. So I encourage you to take a look at the infographics website uh, for some information there. And also our social media sites. So our public website, um, we are connected and live the going on Twitter. Facebook, Google+, Plus, LinkedIn, and again, with the social media, we post daily. So everything we set and put up there is fresh. And uh, we welcome all the, you know, uh, persons to go ahead and, and log in, like us, follow us. Any any uh, of the websites there, uh, you're welcome to do that. And again, as I mentioned, I'll send all this information here so you don't have to write down these links or slides or anything like that. So with the last slide here, um, we're actually doing pretty good time in here. 10.30, uh, frequently asked questions. So uh, does anybody have uh, any questions that you may want to go ahead and type in here regarding this feature or any of the three phone system? Uh, flavors that we have, premise-based, hybrid, voice over IP, cloud-based. Okay, I have a question here. Okay, so here's a question. Um, does the cloud-based system support any other phones other than the Toshiba IP phone? The answer is yes. You can have our IP4100 DEX digital cordless, not digital, I'm sorry, our DEX cordless phone. IP4100 and IP phone, and so we can deploy those with immediately wireless. Um, we also support the Polycom conference room phone, which are SIP based. Um, if they have any conference rooms and they want to deploy any of those, we also support paging gateways um, on IP Edge and the IP Edge. Um, we've tested the, was it the Falcom paging gateways, so we can mix and match the paging gateways to get any amount of zones and paging zones you want. And those are all SIP based also. So we can also do external paging on the VIPS. Are there any more questions? Either we answered everybody's questions. So, okay, I don't see any more questions coming in. All right, guys. Um, thank you for joining us. 
And uh, Peter, are you going to be doing another one? Yes, uh, I'll be uh, doing another webinar uh, in the next uh, probably three months, and that's our quarterly one then. And if you have any suggestions or uh, any ideas of what you would like us to get and you know, give an overview, give us a call or send us an email. We'll be more than happy to put something together. Or if you wish for us to do a demo or a live demo as far as uh, online communications and so forth, we could do that for you as well. So we're here for your uh, support, any assistance we can do. So again, this is Pete Ambrose with the Toshi.